torn down. Today, crews started demolishing the Jefferson Parish East Bank Animal Shelter. Well, it has been empty for more than two years after Hurricane Ida. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian uh, live near Harahan breaking down the multi-million dollar project to bring it back to life. Aubrey. Hey there, Gina. So a major update. The demo is done. The debris out here, it is massive and really taller than I am. I'm told to rebuild this new and massive facility. It's going to cost $15 million and could take four years. The Jefferson Parish East Bank Animal Shelter. Torn down Tuesday. It's been vacant after Hurricane Ida brought catastrophic damage. This shelter has been vacant for quite some time. What do you think about it? It's sad that, you know, it's been down for so long and that we don't have an animal shelter in the area. Animal owners like Sarah Manor used the shelter before it shut down. It was nice. I actually, um, me and my kids came across these two ducks that were in the neighborhood away from their mom and we were able to bring them there and so like they weren't just left out to fend for themselves. We want it done right. J Paws director Michelle Brignac says the new shelter will be state of the art. The ability to do an abundance of surgeries that will help with spaying and neutering. So a huge vet clinic, rooms where there's no echo, no loud noises, so it's not disturbing the animals. The West Bank facility is open and has about 400 animals. Typically, they'd have about 300. They've shipped some animals out of state while this new facility is being built. Rignac says they're looking to open a satellite shelter on the East Bank while the construction is underway. It's been years since it's been down and it would be nice to have something replace it or yeah, in its place to help the animals around here. And in another big update, I also just found out that more than $200,000 in FEMA money was given to this shelter. That money will go to the new one. Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang, she is expected to also speak more in depth about this shelter and this massive demo that happened today that's at tomorrow's council meeting. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.